Okay, hello everyone, welcome to my bedroom. No, 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 let's do that again. Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. And this is a video, basically, first of all, venting that I'm sick and tired of being in this bloody house. I've been in it far too long, but I suppose we all have. Uh, it's all part of this COVID-19 situation. Hopefully you're all staying safe, listening to the guidelines, etc., etc. But in these dark times, I thought it'd be good to make a video, basically of what um, my gaming room or sim room consists of. Uh, I've had many questions over the last few videos, you know, can you do a setup tour? Of course I can. So we're going to have a little look, see what's in there. And uh, I hope you enjoy being in my bedroom. Not many people get to be in here, so you should feel honoured. In fact, what we'll do is we'll reenact my standard morning. So, wake up. Oh, God. It's a bit bright, isn't it? So get out of bed. Then I will uh, obviously turn the camera around so you can see what I'm about to do. Obviously, this door will be closed. And I'll open the door. And this is where the magic happens, ladies and gentlemen. So let me run you through it. In there is the boiler, which I'm consistently turning off and on to have a shower, very annoying. Sofa, and then a little casual gaming TV and Xbox over there, just for when I want to sweat COD or FIFA with my mates, so nothing serious happens on this. And up here, we've just got some spare wheels, some clove wardrobes, uh, hats, helmet, an old helmet. This is what I use for my Palmer Sport antics when I do some instructing. And um, we've got a chessboard there, very important. I use that never, really. Stupid thing. Jesus Christ. And here we've got my GT Sport rig. So this is actually not really in use at the moment. I've not played GT Sport for a, a number of months now. So it's just kind of sitting there vacant, but it's all, it's ready to go when I need to be back on GT Sport. So you've got the PS4 down here. All, I mean, it's very messy, the wiring. I need to sort that out, but you know, all in good time. I could probably spend some of my COVID-19 isolation doing that. A monitor up here, me and my dad installed that when we first moved into the house. So this is a TGT, the TGT pedals basically. So I tried to set it up as similar as it is for a GT Sport World Tour event. Not really planning on doing GT Sport, so it's a bit irrelevant at the moment, but it's ready to go when I need it. And then we've got some little memorabilia over here. Juan Pablo Montoya, the hero. The Miami's fastest gamer, of course, don't forget that. So this is the Elgato light that lights me up in all my streams. Makes me look half decent, not really. Drawers that I keep some stuff in, it's all random stuff really, but to me that's organized, so, I mean, it's not too bad, is it? And this is the main rig. This is the one I use pretty much all the time for every single game apart from Gran Turismo. Basically an F1 Esports rig, if I'm being really honest. It's got the BenQ monitor, the V3 pedals, and the, the V2.5 bass. Obviously that's not an F1 Esports, but I prefer this and the play seat rig on a play seat box. Yeah, it's it's all right, it's a decent little room, I, I like it, it's, it's massive. I'm very lucky and fortunate to have a room this size for this. We moved last year and it's an improvement on the last place I had. So luckily, you know, obviously with a bit of rent, I've, I've managed to secure this room and I can use it for, well, whenever I want, which is quite a lot to be honest, because it is my job. So carrying on with the little tour, PC down there, I probably need to get a new one because it's coming into some issues, but we'll forget about that. All the stream deck, the, the accessories, the microphone, and the GoPro that films me when I'm streaming. So, on a tripod. Bin, this is my girlfriend's drawers. So I, I had to give up some of the space in here because she does stay around sometimes. Obviously not throughout this COVID-19 situation, but when she does stay, she needs some space, so I thought I'd give her them. And I won't go through there because as we all know, ladies do some pretty weird stuff. So I'm not gonna reveal that. Ah! Katie, you really need to stop leaving your drawers around. It's like really annoying. I mean, over the years I have collected quite a lot of stuff, wheels, pedals, you know, bought and then not used them again. So I, I keep them just in case I need them for a competition or something like that. So we have, and we've got VR as well. We've got some spare wheels. We've got look, an F1 Esports rim in here. We've got uh, some bolts. Some, we've got a shifter here, actually. My God. We've got a Fanatec shifter that's just sitting there, not used. What a waste. Some VR, Oculus Rift. I do use them sometimes for practicing in real life. TXSW or TS, I, I don't know the name of it, but it's a rim for that wheel. And what we got down there? Another shifter, a Thrustmaster one. Ugh. Look at that. So we've got a lot of stuff here. I'm only using it when I really need to. So it does kind of get wasted in my in my room, but it, that's fine. So this lid, it's my old lid. 
It's got my old paint style on it, my paint job. Uh, it's got some modern stickers on it to make it look better. I've been using it to get signatures for my license. Uh, it's going to be replaced. It's good. I think I've already got a carbon fiber lid. Uh, I used it at Paul Ricard. It's black at the moment, but it's going to have a paint style on it that's going to look sick. It's been designed. Uh, it's probably going to take another two to three weeks to get done. But once it's done, obviously, I might do a video on it because I want to explain thoroughly what you know why I've got stuff on it so keep an eye out for that video that'll be sick I can't wait to see the helmet it's gonna look amazing it's flipping expensive because carbon fiber anything costs a lot of money yeah that's on the way but I mean in terms of the room that's pretty much it it's, it's not that amazing to be honest I'm missing a really top-end spec simulator uh, like a, a sim lab with a direct drive and some Heising belt pedals for example that's ideally what I want just for those top-end simulators I need a good good rig I think I would love one but you're looking at 10 grand plus or something along that kind of budget to get that kind of rig so I am saving I've got to find some money for that but you know there's priorities as well would love to move out would love to have a nicer car would love you know there's all these things so it's, it's about finding that balancing act before I get a rig like that I'm very grateful for what I've got it's good it's a lot better it's better than a lot of people have um, and I did start off with you know a 300 quid setup so this I valued it the other day it's probably about eight and a half to nine thousand pounds so over two years just winning stuff winning money etc spending it on this investing yeah it's uh, it's built up to quite a lot but you know that's basically it. So I do my uh, one piece of exercise for the day as per the Boris Johnson speech. Um, got my brother joining me actually when he comes out, I will show you, but for the video, that's pretty much it. So uh, it's been a pleasure as always, like it, comment, and sub to the channel maybe if you want to. I do appreciate that kind of stuff. It's uh, hopefully the next time you see my room, it will be you know, containing that really expensive simulator I was talking about earlier. But um, yeah, for the moment, it will do me fine. Till the next video, I'll see you all very soon. Touch fella.